Hey, what's up guys, I'm doing Double Deck Profile Thursday, and so the two decks I have for you guys today is a God Card deck and Cubix, so, yeah. So, three Ross Disciple, basically, it's pretty explanatory. One Raw, one Spare Mode, and then one Immortal Phoenix, all explanatory, so. Two cipher, um, just not really, really a good god card, um, so yeah, and then one all of us, and then for other stuff, scapegoat. It's a lot more slower than uh, scapegoat, but uh, the thing between this and scapegoat is that the uh, the tokens that you summon from this, you can actually tribute. The scapegoat ones, you cannot tribute uh, the same turn. I mean, you can tribute them, but you just have to set it, so. But for me, I rather tribute the tokens and some of the big monster, so. Um, yeah. And then Kribo, so I don't take any bad damage. Coco D for draw power. And then one of the Shermanic Turtle for a stall, so. Yeah. And then for the Spows, two mound, very, very good. And I haven't even thought about running this card in uh, Cubix, so. It is, Nova is a level 10, so. I've also thought about that, um, but. Mound, just very, very good for help protecting your god cards from being destroyed by, like, Raikeki and stuff like that, so. Yeah, and then 2 MST, just good, Twin Twister, that's in here for pitching uh, this card that I do not like dead drawing, so yeah. And then Double Summon, and then Temple of the Kings, Temple of the Kings is in here for Oasis, so yeah. And then for traps, three storm mirror force, self-explanatory. Oasis also self self-explanatory. Bring back a uh, monster. And if you have all three face down, bring back three. Trade for a god card if you have one in your hand, and then go from there. So, and then three bribe to help protect your mound or anything that's anything else that you really have on the field from like. Dark Hole, Rakeki, MST, stuff like that, so, yeah. And then two, Transmigration, to help recycle your stuff so you don't deck out, so, um, yeah. And then one, Skull Prisoner, uh, very, very, probably a good card, um, to help protect your mount from, like, Lila or Dragon Square or White, um, stuff like that, so, very, very, quite good. And that's basically it for the... Uh, God card deck. The other thing that's missing is Podgotti, which is in my Exodia deck right now. So, um, yeah. And then the other thing that the Cubic deck is missing is Thunder Dragon and uh, Dark or Dark Road Delings, which that's also in my Exodia deck. So, um, yeah. So for Cubics, three. Uh, Terms of Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, very, very good card. Three, Vajam, the Cubic Seed. I will have a lot more of a uh, uh, descriptive uh, effect video in the description of this video uh, where I explain where, what everything does and everything like that. So if you guys want to check out that video, um, I encourage you to to go do so, but that video will be in the link, will be in the description below. So yeah, and then three Vulcan, two um, Blade, and then one Buster. Um, all these gain attack, and they all you have to tribute uh, or send from the field. Your 
one, two, or three cubic uh, monsters that you control. So, and then when they all get, uh, you can send it to the guard and then send the uh, the seed to the field. So, yeah, that's kind of br basically a brief summary of what it does or what all of them do. So, and then go straight for the winter cherries. Uh, this is in here for reasons I hate. Or at least I don't like facing these two cards. So, yeah. I say night's up to that. So. And then my cubic build is actually a turbo build to help get off Trinity uh, a lot more quicker. So, yeah. So, three cubic wave. Three cubic karma. And then one fusion uh, subscription, or conscription, my bad. <laughs> uh, very good card. And then Karma, I'll explain why I run that here in just a second. Hand destruction, um, very, very good using Pitch Karma, Banish Karma, add a, um, uh, Nova to your hand, and then fusion conscription, and yeah, so. Uh, I need uh, one more hand destruction and then one more fusion conscri conscri uh, conscription to make the deck really, really quite good. So, and one for one, uh, pitch karma for uh, the seed. So, yeah. And then MST. And then Rakeki. And that's basically it for the spose. Now for the traps. Three cubic rebirth. Two reckless screen. Uh, just for draw power and make the deck quicker. Uh, two uh, unification of the cubic lord. Very, very quite good. Uh, it helps you summon this guy. So, yeah. And then hollowed life barrier. Uh, discard one card and then. Uh, any battle damage you take becomes zero. So uh, the discard out of it would be uh, Karma, of course. And then Skull Prisoner uh, to help protect your monsters from basically anything. So Or any like special traps or anything, something like that. So, yeah. So that's basically it for the deck. Or both decks, anyway. Now for the extra deck. Two. Trinity. Um, very, very op card once you have it on the field. Neo Blue Eyes for uh, Winter Cherries, and then same thing, same thing with Dark Law. So, but um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe for more. And yeah, I got a very cool old school deck. Uh, coming for you guys tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye, guys.